Right, so here we are again. Another trip up Green Down. So we've got the 220 odd steps to go now. I've just got my stuff out of the van. Jack is, don't know if you'll be able to see him. Jack is about three quarters of the way up there. He just gets his stuff out of the van and goes. So he never waits for me. So uh, nobody else in the car park. There was a couple of cars parked out on the road. So whether there is going to be somebody up here, I'm not sure. But there is plenty of spaces you can fish. Right, I'll bring you back when I'm out of breath and hit the top. Let you have a look at the views. Right, so I've made it to the top. 52 years old now, so it's, uh, it's getting harder every time I come up here. Uh, but there's the view. So that's Breen Beach. Uh, I was down there on Thursday night and had a bass, three pounds six. Uh, that was just straight lugworm. Didn't do a video on that one. That was just a bit of pleasure fishing of an evening, a couple of hours after work. Uh, so as we pan round, there's Western Seafront. So that's Western Beach there, Western Pier. Whether you can make it out or not, in the distance is the old pier. And if you can make out the point further than that is Sand Point. Right, so as I'm waking way down, way down through here, um, what I'll be doing today is obviously two rods. One, I'll just be mainly having my um, ray baits on. So combinations of squid, mackerel and anchovy. All from, all from veteran baits. Um, I did dig. Jack's already having a cast out, if you could see that. It's only a practice cast, there was only a lead on there. Um, yeah, I did dig some worm yesterday. So one rod I might just drop in close for a bass. I might drop the hook size down, um, go for a flounder. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Try and get a fish under belt first before we start uh, playing about too much. But yeah, so drop one in close for a bass and uh, bass and conger down in there and then the other one out for a ray. I expect Jack will probably cast both out, I'm not sure yet. So uh, yeah, nearly down, nearly down to the mark. bit drier this time last time I come down I fell over a couple of times and Jack had to come back up and grab my box so this is a bit drier and there's Jack all set up in my spot five. huh five. you've had five yeah what, five minutes rest? Jack's just had a bite on one of his rods. So we'll just see what happens in a minute. We've only been out there about, about 10 minutes, Jack. Yeah, around 10 minutes it's just been out there. And what bait have you got on that one? Uh, anchovy. Anchovy going again then, was it? Yeah. Oh, 
Put on your rod, Rev. Or is it underneath? Yes, okay. I'll put it on your rest, isn't it? So one more last look at it. So Jack's just weighed it. It's not big, it's six and a half pound. But it's a start. Most of them you get are only gonna be around that size. All right, he's gonna go off now and put them back. Well done, Jack. Jack had a hell of a rattle on his rod then. I've just rebated mine up, one with mackerelin, mackerelin squared. And I'm just um, baiting up a spare rig now just with a, a very slight strip of mackerel and the whole square. I got a bite now, Jack, on mine. And I just got a bite coming on my one now. So Jack's into a fish. So, uh. Fish on? Yeah. It's on. That's a ray, I think. No rush, Jack. Jack's got hold of a trace line. See if Jack can carry mine up. Well then, mate. We'll just try and sort them both out now. Identical sizes almost, aren't they? Mine's a bit bigger. Oh, well, it would be, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right, we just sort these out and we'll hold them up for a, a picture then. There you go, two identical congas. Jack thinks this is fatter than mine. But um, yeah, we'll unlock these and we get these back. This one's Jack's, that was mine. They say, I still think mine's bigger, but um, just go and return them now. So I've just um, done an edible crab, or an edible peeler crab, should I say, from Veteran Baits. 
that is just one of the front claws and I've just put a bit of squid down the back so that's going to go out for my next one and this one's on again three foot pulley this is a 110 pound line hook length and weight length so uh, I think Jack, Jack might be into another bike He's got a fish, but he's also got my line because it's the one. You are, it's my line's rattling. Yeah, because I'm lifting it back now. I'm uh, uh, well, he's got another fish, so guess what? I'm walking down again. second one probably about eight eight and a half pound a spit here weigh it I'll hand that over now hold out Jack one last time so he's just weighed that eight pound eight ounces and you go off and put that down that must have landed right on his nose because Jack actually joked about crossing over my line and within a couple of minutes it was biting and I thought it was where it was on my line but yeah so well done to Jack that's two rays and two congas for, no two rays and a conga for Jack stay down there Jack so Jack's just gone down to put his ray in and now I've got a fish on this one I was wrong last time, but this does feel like a ray. So Jack's got mine. Bit of a baby that one, isn't it, Jack? Yeah, a little one. And that's the top hook. Top hook and the scissors there, so nicely hooked. There you go. Exactly. Only a small one. Like I say, we just get a photo. And then uh, get you back. And that was just on squid, squid with a very thin strip of uh, mackerel up it. Oh. Uh, Jack's into another fish. Oh, it's a little ray. I think I might have a knock on my rod, but we'll go down the sort of Another one for Jack, probably only about four pound that one. So, uh, yeah, I'll give that one to Jack, we'll get a photo. So, just a little update. Um, since Jack caught his first fish, um, it's been an hour and a half till now, and we've had six fish in total. I've got another bite. I've got another bite now. So, I've had one conger and one ray 
and Jack size one Congo and three rays. Is that about right? If my mass is right, I think about that. <laughs> Jack's laughing at me, I'll never know good at numbers. Um, so, yeah, we'll just see what this one is now. And we'll come back to you in a minute. Fish on, Jack. You touch back of the screen, Jack. That. It's just for squid bait. Massive fish. Biggest of the day. That was just on a whole squid, that one. Oh no, sorry, that was squid and uh, prawn. Squid and prawn. Jack's got a slack line. Do you feel good, Jack? Feels alright. I'm gonna take my own photo. Top of the surface, right. I'll be there now, Jack. Just take my photo. I'll go down and let this one go at the same time. This is why you don't let the old people land the fish. Huh? They're not very nimble. They can't jump across the rocks. They wait for them to pop off before they pick them up. Well, I wanted to bring the net, Jack. Didn't want to carry it. But that was definitely a double figure, Jack. Yeah. Unlucky. I think it's your line on the rocks. Mm. Cut the cut that. The one you lost, Jack. Stop doing your air and selfies and get down there. So that was on the crab, crab and squid. Again, top hook in the scissors. There's the bottom hook. Top hook there. Only small again. Um, I've got no rods out now because I was just changing the bait on the other one. I can put some worm baits out on the two at clip down and just chuck it about 40 yards out. And then as I was winding that one in, this one's going. So, yeah, get this one on up, let's get a photo. And then uh, on to the next one, hopefully. All gone quiet for the last 45 minutes. And Jack's just into a fish, so I better go down. I don't want him moaning at me again. Shall I go down, Jack? It's only lightly hooked. No, Jack. Well done, mate. Is it on there, Jack? I think something's on there. Jack's just had a massive slack line while he was just casting the other one.
as he was casting the other one out, his rod just went slack, picked it up, wound in, but nothing there. Right. Got a, got a bite on both rods now. I think we take the left one first. That's just stripping line now. Jack's just got mine and now his is going, so we'll uh... Close, it looks bigger. <laughs> so yeah, get a photo of these and get these back. There they are. That was Jack's, the biggest. What was it, Jack's? Seven and a half. Seven and a half, and mine was five and a half. So uh, yeah, I'll go and put these back in now. Followed that, so uh, get no fresh bait out. I was on a whole squid. <laughs> Jack's being silly. <laughs> his mum, his mummy, would tell him off. Jack's being silly. Time, Jack. <laughs> Till the next time.